Well, here we go. Working on this misty one this morning. I don't even know what the time is. I've only been up about three quarters of an hour, but anyhow, it's uh, what? 20 past eight in Echuca, Victoria, Australia. And I look at this painting, I've done a little bit on it yesterday. Uh, it's similar to the uh, that small square little one I've done, but I can show people, learners, uh, how you can work through the same painting and, um, you know, get satisfaction out of doing it. You're learning, you're learning. Don't matter which way you go painting, you're always learning, but um, it, uh, it's just nice to see how, how things change. You see, every day you see things a bit different. Um, well, I do, anyhow, because I emotionally, um, I'm probably an emotional wreck. <laughs> so, um, anyhow, uh, Oh God, I'm just, and I don't, I don't get really that greatly organised, I've dropped, I dropped one brush and I can't find the bloody thing. So anyhow, I'm going to pick that one up, and that one will do it. And we'll do a little bit of stuff here. I'm going to bring this one forward a bit now, I'm not going to be doing too much on here, it'll be probably 20 minutes, I don't want to go through and ruin it, but that's still wet, so I can still go through that. I've got some nice ideas for these little branches here. They've got some nice, it's nice pictures. Look, I'm not, I'll show you the photo. You know, the ideas there, I haven't mentally gone out and copied it. I, there is a bit of mist in the background, but I've, I've made more mist in there. I might even do one of this on uh, YouTube where the actual trees are starting to show through and that. Or maybe one with a bit of a paddle boat coming through the mist. I don't know. This is, this is what I do through the winter time when it's cold, even though I'll be down the river probably later on making frames or uh, doing a little bit of painting, providing it's actually a bit windy today. So that wind's cutting through you. Um, so anyhow, I've got a nice array of mixed paint from yesterday. Uh, and I'll just, I'll just use it. I don't want to. A little bit of magenta in there. And maybe I'll get myself organised to show you how I mix my paint here. At the end of the day, um, you know, we all do things a little bit different, but it's nice to be able to see what I'm doing when I'm mixing the paint um, and how, how dirty my palette becomes. And uh, I don't mind doing paintings with a dirty palette. It's good practice even doing that. Well, I'm, so, I'm not saying it. it I don't, look, I don't know whether it's really good practice, but I do it. Uh, I like to... Um, I like to do, uh, you know, experiment a little bit. And, uh, and even getting on YouTube, having a bit of a look at different things and the way people do things. I won't be, you know, I've learned a lot off YouTube. I learn a lot of things uh, that I'd all sort of already know or knew, but I've actually got a bit better reinforcement of what the, uh, what things are. I've been able to learn a little bit more than just a little bit, if you know what I mean. You'll have to excuse me, I'm probably a bit backwards or something, I don't know. But I don't care. I just do what I have to do. And uh, what I do is paint, whether I'm on YouTube or out the scrub. That's my, my daily routine is to mentally do something creative. I love, I love creating things and um, yeah, so sometimes you just got to be careful how you put your branches in um, you know because you want to You want the brace to have a give you a good feeling, and I mean, like 
the end of the day, you know yourself, if you put something on your, uh, on your buddy, on your canvas and it's not right, um, well, <laughs> it plays havoc with your head. Well, it does with mine, anyhow. And, um, <laughs> yeah, so, there we are, that's, that can go down there, oh, yes. And you probably can't even see this, we're, we're on paint, but, anyway, I'm not having too many, I'm not having too many branches here, I'm just putting a few in. Oh, there's one that goes around there, now that's a bit of a tricky, tricky one. But, what we'll do, is we will do it like this. Oh. Hmm. And uh, mist will be right through the middle there. Um. And and I'll probably screw this up already this morning. I mean, this is how it goes. This is how painting goes with me. Because my brain doesn't know 100% what I'm doing. Well, not that anyone does, I suppose. I, uh, I tend to screw it up pretty quick. Sometimes. And, uh, anyhow, and, you know, the tree's grey. Uh, but it's not really. Um, I'm just putting something in there with a bit of shade or a bit of colour or a bit of dark val darker value than the, the thing so that I can, um, I tell you, I tell you what, if you want to, uh, you want to, you know, liquid is pretty dear, you know. Um, but if you get a couple of, if you get a, a couple of bloody, um, you know, peanut butter jar or Vegemite jar lids like that, what you can do is you get a bigger one, right, and that sits on top of that, like that. Uh, and when that's in my pool, toolbox, there's another one you can get a bit smaller, my toolbox, that sits there. And that lick one can stay soft for days. Doesn't go hard. It's just a handy little hint because it's, you know, when I, I do quite a few paintings, uh, and, and not all big stuff, and, um, you know, it just, oh, it gives you the shits, buddy, putting liquid out there every day and scraping it off because it's not cheap. It's not cheap, my friend, you know, so, uh, and, oh look, I don't know, I don't know there. That'll be all right, that'll be all right. But I wanted to go through there this morning. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this light with that uh, yellow and red and white and blue, whatever the colors were the other day, and mix them into that. Make a pretty powerful mist behind there and maybe even a little bit light and dark out here. Uh, but this bank's still too wet a bit. So I can't go in there to go over it with the mist and I want to put a few little things on that on the bank there and so that when the mist comes over it looks like it's sitting behind the mist. Um, and sometimes I can't, you know, I've got to be careful how I go into the paint. Like I could play around with the blue stone and stuff like that but my brain's saying leave that alone because I'd, I'd rather get back in there and bring that powerful light out and then put the mist in and stuff. These branches, I think, I could actually bring them through because they'll go hard. You've got a little bit of, put that little bit of liquid and that in there. So these, these, uh, these branches, that's not going to do good. Bit of that, little bit of that. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Um, Oh, I don't know. Anyhow, there we go. I don't know much. I like these branches, so what I'm going to do... They're not branches, they're just they're little, little trees. 
that have ex uh, that have survived and um, one day they'll probably be big trees if the floods don't kill them, you know. Uh, so yeah. That one night. Oh, oh, I don't want that big, big clumpy branch. See, I'll go over this with the mist again. But what it's doing is it's just keeping me interested in the painting. Uh, I don't do hours and hours and hours of painting. It just, I'm not that type of painter. You see how those, those, those branches there are doing my head in because they're not, uh, they've got to be thin. Even though I've got to go over it again and cover it, I want them to be uh, thin. What they're doing is they're giving me a ne negative response. Oh, I don't want that. Um, see, what those colours of those, those branches will be in a slight tint, I'll give a little bit of, a little bit of red there, and a little bit of, oh, a little bit of blue, they will have powerful little colours in them, you know? They get a little mixture of, on the tips of the brush of uh, a bit thicker paint. So what it'll do is that that colour will come through when I go over that with that mist. That colour will come through there. Uh, but um, and the other thinner little branches that I'll have there on there will come from um, a stick and uh, yeah so even those, even those, um, even those bloody branches that I'll put in there, uh, give me a negative response, bloody thing. But uh, anyway, and don't get too thick with it, boy. But anyhow, I'll get away with that, you know. Um, what I'll do is put a little bit of colour in the trunk and that'll keep me interested with that. Uh, look at that. I don't, want that. I don't know, some of the greens, some of the greens that we get in some of these, uh, some of the gum trees. Not that I really, uh, should be putting them in because it's not raining but but what happens is the trunk is damp it's got its own little color you see how that hollow there is and anyhow I'll go over this with other colors I just, I just want to get away, I want to get away from that grey, too much grey there. Uh, you know, there is a good thing I learned off YouTube. You know, um, oh, I can't think, Stephanie is it? I don't know. Uh, you know, you just say to yourself, it's a two 
too dark, too light, too red, too blue, too yellow. And someone else says something on YouTube uh, about... Oh, when you think of grey, think of blue. And it seems, it seems pretty right. Um, I think those sort of things help help people to learn it. Um, because I'm sort of, I might have been painting a long time, but man, I missed out. I missed out on a lot of those things because bloody, I was too busy uh, doing it my way. You know, doing it my way. Or the highway. Oh yeah, you can make a song out of that one, couldn't you? Eh? Uh. And this one is mine. And I'm gonna make it mine, oh baby. No, what am I doing it white for anyhow? No bloody white trees. I put that in there, I reckon I could even have a root. I said a root, a root on the tree, a root of the tree, it's so beautiful, <laughs> you see, I shouldn't say that, but what I'm doing, yeah, no, nah, the root of the tree I'm talking about, because I know there's, uh, there's, roots going down there and I might even show uh, show a little bit of that going down there uh, yeah yeah man Fun of you this morning. It's a nice way for me to start my day off. Um, you know, if nothing else, you know. And hopefully there's other people out there having a bit of a paint too, you know, buddy. I don't know, I'll try on YouTube, I'll just try and keep my paints basically simple, you know, if I can. If that's possible with Peter, and uh, and that way people can have a look on YouTube, and you know the ones that are, that are just starting out can have a bit of a have a bit of a look, and um, you know I haven't done a, a great job, but I'm gonna let it go, and uh, just bloody trying to do the best I can. And I, I, like I say, I'm not all. I'm not. This is not me. I'm not on YouTube all bloody time. I'm painting, going out and rip and paint. But a lot of times, I don't mind taping a bit of stuff that I'm doing. You know, like it, it, it's probably. I don't know. Um, I should. I don't know whether I'm allowed to mention names, but like Richard Musgrove and that. They, those people. They they give me incentive when I'm painting. You know, and now and again I have a look at what they're doing. I might pick shit sometimes, but I find them interesting. Uh, and look, at the end of the day, whether we paint the same or different or whatever it is, the one thing everybody's got, the, the ones that are, the, that are painting on YouTube or, uh, you know, getting out there and doing their thing, you don't have to be on YouTube, uh, they've got the, the passion. That's the way I see it, you know, it's just... Um, the passion to uh, uh, paint and it's a bloody beautiful way of life it's a beautiful way of life paint 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 your life away oh yeah 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 
gay, paint your life away. That's what I do. I've been painting since I was 12. I might tell you how old I am. 35. I just got bald head. No, I mean, I've got a bit of hair on my head. Just a little bit. And, um, but I don't, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, I don't know where I'm going, oh yes I do. And people may think I'm mad, well they're probably right, but I don't even give a damn. Cause I love painting, and use people, man it's just, just a beautiful, beautiful way of life to start your day. Well, you know what? <laughs> the half an hour is already, uh, the, the 20 minutes is already gone. Incredible, isn't it? So I have to put a bit more tape on there while I'm here, while I'm doing my tape. And so I'm taping this. And, uh, hmm. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Yes, uh, but I can't see when I'm doing little branches because they're bloody hard to do. Ooh. And that one should have come through up the top there, but it's not going to. Not now, anyhow, not with this picture. I'm just thinking, uh, I shouldn't think too much, I know. Uh, yeah. What happens if I lighten that trunk a little bit there? Yeah, I play around, you know, a little bit of wet and wet, and I love my dry painting, painting over dry. Uh, and wet, and wet and wet, you know. It's sort of... Uh, it's just an emotional thing with me, I like, that's how, how it is. One minute I'm doing this, the next minute I'm doing that, and that's the only way I survived. You know, that's the only way I've survived all these years, is just doing, doing it the way I want to do it, you know. Uh, I don't know whether I should do, I think I need to put some foliage some foliage. I need to put some foliage on there. I need to find me super brush. Where's the super brush gone? Oh, there it is. I keep telling you, it's like, you know what I do with these, these, these brushes. You know, 50 cents. And they last, you might have to stick this in here, seal that in there better, and put a couple of nails in there to stop them from falling off. But the hairs stay in there pretty good. I cut them with the scissors and just shape them a bit. Uh, and, uh, you know, like it's got some nice bristles on it for grass and weeds and trees and foliage and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to put... I am going to put some foliage right there. And it's going to be ultramarine blue, magenta, right? and raw, raw sienna. Um, and the raw sienna is like the green. And then if I want a tint, I can always go in and do the other. Uh, uh, oh no, I will put a little bit of yellow in there. All right. And then I just dab, dab, dab it. A daddle daddle do ya. Right, and then what I do, oh no, I don't do that. What I do is squash the branch, the thing out a bit. So, that, you see that? That it, instead of being a big clump, it makes it very, very, very thin. And you're not getting a whole big clumpy um, I reckon we could even have some blue in there huh? 
lemon yellow maybe. I don't know. I'll change it all the bloody time. This is just how I do it. Probably not all there. I don't know. I don't care. I just do my day. Painting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, it's probably not even the right colour, but knowing that I've got to go over there with maybe mist and that playing around with the mist. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit in there too, because that might just, a little bit there. And that could be back under the mist by the time I get around to doing my little painting. Um, yeah. So what I do there, is I just do, what I'm going to do is find that hard brush. And what I'm going to do is just plug out my foliage a bit because what it does is it, it pushes the paint up a bit and then I can come back through uh, I can run my spatula over if I want to tint a few little edges of the leaves and things like that I can just run the spatula over the thing just remember when you when you're doing this stuff there's always always a couple of little spots where you get a leaf on their own you know you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so it's interesting, very interesting. Uh, and you know, I've got a happy little feeling about this painting. And if I if I do it slowly and just uh, pull it together, um, with that bloody panty going to try to throw paint on and try and get the bloody thing finished. Um, you know, just, just relax and enjoy the joy, enjoy the journey, that's the word, enjoy the journey, you know, because it is a journey. And sometimes it's a journey into the unknown, well it's unknown all the time really, I mean, but with painting, you can have a bit of an idea where you're going, you know, you can sort of. Uh, well, you need to know a little bit. You need to have that idea. Uh, but the more experienced you are with your paint, and the more you know about your mediums and what the paint can do and stuff like that, God, geez, you can go a long way. I'm not that far. I'm just, uh, I'm just, even though I've been painting for all those years, I'm still just picking it up, man. And, um, Oh, I know, I love it, yeah. Uh, I don't have one painting mate. <laughs> yeah, so everyone I'm up around with doesn't paint. You know, and... Uh, but, and I'm a pretty serious painter, I'm pretty serious. I don't go out to talk and chat and do my thing, but then again, I'm probably scare myself off of uh, people. Maybe I'm a bit of a hermit too, you know. Yeah, I join all the join all the clubs and just never go. It's like uh, just every guy I ever did in my life. You know, everything I did in my life was the same thing. I'd run, I'd run away, I'd run away, cause I just run. But today, I stop and cop it, man, oh yes I do. What I'll do is I can even put, even put some lovely little crispy colours on that and give a little bit of a tint and maybe even just touch, oh, just touch, no, no, what do you get that colour for? Uh, remember... I always like, I know, I know it might sound strange, it's probably wrong, but, you know, if you work with your reds and your blues, if you've got a little bit of each of them in, in the right dosage, you, 
it seems to bloody work, you know. And uh, and it probably it seems to work probably because those colours are in it. You know, it, it just uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Um, da 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 da. Oh yeah. And then we can uh, have a little couple of different colours in there, you know, even a bit of bush down in there. Doesn't matter. Bit of grass growing in there. Um, and mind you, they're just being they're just being dotted. They're not finished. And uh, the mist will probably come back through this again. Uh, but it's interesting, you know, using the same painting to make your painting. It's a, you don't have to go and hunt for things. Remember, it's a challenge with the darks, the lights and darks and the colour. That's what it is. Uh, you know, that's what you're working with. You don't have to get out there and get that special... I mean, it's uh, you can get out and get that special painting, but... Um, yeah, you know, you just gotta do your thing. So I'm gonna go into a field now that's um it's gonna be a bit on the trick side, tricky side. Because I because I put those paints in there like that, uh, I don't know how to get that blue. I think what do I do? Put a little bit of cad yellow, a bit of that, a bit of that. That one's a blue. If you know what I mean. And, you know, there should be... Uh, put a couple there. And I can change that colour. Maybe put a couple there, out there. And it's not that colour, but what we'll do is we'll darken it with a bit of uh, ultramarine. And put a little bit of that blue in there. And then we can just do... I'm not even happy with that, but that's how it is. You've got to start somewhere, so what you've got to do is you've got to put the paint on. Don't be frightened to put the paint on, right? Uh, just don't be frightened to put the paint on, otherwise you'll never do it, you know? Uh, no. Okay. That one can stay out there like that. I don't like that blue, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the blue loo. I'm going to put that in there. See that? Because I'm not going to dab, I'm not going to have some crazy colour that I don't think should be there. What I can do is I can put colour over the top of that as I'm going. And, um, and the same thing is... Oh, I don't care, it doesn't have to be anything. Uh, it just needs to be uh, what it needs to be. Huh? Uh. 
Okay, and so we were, it's funny, it's orthodoxy sort of stuff, isn't it? You know, because I need to go back through there and go through there, but you'll see what I'm doing as I'm doing it, you know? Um, and, uh, yeah, I play with it. It's like, uh, I, you get better at it as you're going along, you know? You see more. Yeah. Yeah, so mm. Mm. Anyhow, I don't have to worry about that too much. I've just put the things that I need to put in there. Uh you know. Uh, what I can do with uh with this stuff like uh you know where the where these trees are I can tint them and bring a bit when I get this sunshine light coming through there I can I can tint some of that you know and uh just have a little bit of bit of light coming through on the thing but anyhow I don't want to go too far with that so I've got to get my lights and darks in the trees and things like that. So, but that's where I am with the painting at this stage. Um, pretty negative, but I'll tell you what, if I work this right with my lights and darks and get a bit of nice colour in the leaf, uh, work around in there, and then I have a couple of magpies because this spot, specifically to me, is where I feed magpies and... Um, uh, you know, I've got paintings I've done just up here and back that way. The bridge, the new bridge is just down that way, the one that's been been done in a chuka. And it's, I think it's the one that's got the biggest single span in the southern hemisphere. And for a little town like a chuka. But that's just down there. It's just been finished and that. So it's a beautiful little spot around here for me to paint. Uh, and it may even get painting classes going down here or something. I don't know. See, see what happens. But... Uh, for free too, by the way. I don't charge. And uh, and um, just, yeah, a couple of magpies there. And this will be a, a part of this painting. I mean, you know, if I sit just back here and put it on my car and sell it, people will know exactly where it's come from. You know, anyone that sort of, you know, because I'm taking the soul of the picture. Like, it's not, not 100%. I'm not copying the thing. I'm just working with the photo I'll show you. Here's that one we put in uh, um, YouTube, you know, so here's that one we put in YouTube, remember? Oh, I done in you uh, on YouTube. Right? So that's that one. And uh, you know that's come up alright. But I love my Maggie's there's three of them actually and I may even do that with the three in this one. But um yeah, so, but anyhow, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see, see how it comes up. Um, I'm going to close this off because I know if I go too far with the painting, I'm going to, I really am going to make hard work out of it because I'm going to start fighting with it. So I don't need, I don't need to be doing that. Uh, if I wanted to keep painting now, I would just go into another painting. Uh, because I've got that many paintings to work on that uh, it's just incredible. But so I've always got something to go back into. Yeah, I've done a couple of Plains Air paintings down in Vic Park the other day, uh, and I'm still working on them. But I'll show you them when I finish them, and I'll show you a bit about how I how I did them. But um, yeah, and here I'm going to go, people. Uh, look, look after yourselves. Have a good day. You know, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever. Keep me interested. Hey, people over there or overseas or whatever it is, uh, look, have a, have a beautiful day, beautiful night, whatever you, whatever you do. Don't hurt anyone and uh, just enjoy your life as best you can. You know, get out there and do some painting. Get them brushes going. Pick up a guitar, sing a song. Maybe get a pencil and write a book. Who knows? I mean, when you look at the whole picture... Notes for music, words for writing, colour for painting.
you know, so, uh, but they're all one thing and they all work together, okay? Signing off, have a lovely day, people. No one will hear this because no one runs through to the end of the tape. But anyhow, God bless you, see you later. I'm not religious either, by the way, but God bless her anyhow, see you. Bye.